Hello, so I'm going to begin my science project on on ionic thrust mechanics and you know, I'll uh, just like the physics behind it and application for the real world. Start off, what are anions? Anions are atoms with positively charged, um, which are basically uh, ions with a positive charge. Anions want to gain back electrons to equalize their charge. Basically make sure it's like neutral to make sure protons and electrons are are equal um, equal in number just to make it neutral charge. In order for an anion to gain its electron back, they get attracted to negatively charged atoms. Metal um, usually are negatively charged and they would they will gain electrons from the metal, which are um, which have extra electron that the metal don't want to have. So, and so the reason why we use this, uh, we want to use this metal so it'll it'll play a role in our propulsion system for um, ion thrusters. And especially that metals are tend to be very good conductors. You know, pass on electrons from one one atom to another. So it's obvious they're going to pass it on to a, a possibly charged um, anion um, ion just to just to equalize the charge. Will be which will play a role in our thrusters. Now to another important question, how can we form these anions? In order to create ions, we need electricity to be present. Electricity usually create ions by stripping air of its electrons um, through, um, with this like, which is called ionization process. Now, there's a lot, a lot of physics involved, so I mean I won't play um, but in this project because it's just way too long and complicated, but that's usually how it affects how it, how it works. So the positive charged ion will then be attracted by a negatively charged aluminum foil and there'll be like a downward acceleration due to the, um, the ions moving down, down, down to aluminum foil. Now to explain how, how ions have to do with this project, like I mentioned, when ions are, um, um, were charged and to be stripped of their electrons, it will be negatively attracted to a neg uh, negatively charged atom, which is aluminum foil. It will move down to the source to gain back the electrons to equalize their force. This sudden acceleration will, in turn, produce thrust, which, uh, which will go down the downward direction and the uh, craft will only go up. The implication of ionization, the ionization can be exploited to help make craft with little to no moving parts. They do not require fuel, they don't have to require require any moving parts just to work. Yeah, all it needs is just electricity and power just to, um, just to make it uh, work. Uh, to create this uh, um, this craft, you need like copper wire, aluminum foil, possible sticks, at least three, and a 2,000 voltage battery. Craft, you need three sticks that that uh, with the endpoint that's shaped like a triangle, at least uh, like at least a equilateral triangle. Wrap, wrap the sti um, stick with with copper wire on top and lead and and lead a wire down to the table and make sure to tape it down so it won't just fly off everywhere when the craft lifts up. And also wrap aluminum foil um, between between the uh, the three sticks and. And make sure you put a little bit of glue on it. Don't put too much because it'll lose conduct conductivity if you um, if you put too much in it.
and also hook up all the three uh, three wires to a battery. Shows the visual demonstration. You see the cover wire with electrical current, ionized air, which causes to be positively charged. And the positively char uh, charged ions flow to the aluminum charge with the aluminum atoms dis dispose of their electrons to the ions and as a result it'll, it'll create thrust which causes the craft to go up. This is like just a visual reputation what it looks like. So is a scientist uh, invest more into ionic propulsion and make more powerful variants that require less power. It will reduce carbon emission for cars um, if we if we outfit them with powerful ionic thrust, such as like 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 cars that release like one fifth of the carbon emission. And if we outfit them with powerful enough ionic ionic um, Propulsion, it will cut that down at least one fifth. Planes will no longer need fuel and massive moving parts to fly. It will reduce carbon emission from uh, transportation vehicles at least by nine percent. So that's a significant uh, benef uh, benefit of ion proposal. And there are many out there technology probably centuries in the future like floating cities if that's possible flying cars even hover boots i mean we might not i'm experienced that in our lifetime but it's a good to speculate what what can be what how far we can go with the zion address technology this is all like the sources I gave from from the benefit if we cut cut out the carbon emission with ionic thrust and there's more of a site that explains how uh, the more in the working mechanics and the deeper physics about ionic proposal that I can't get through. So that's all. Um, thank you very much.